good morning students <clears throat> so here today we start the chapter number 6 all of you think already we have done uh, chapter number 1 and 2 so there are 3 4 5 3 chapters are we left and then we move to chapter number 6 because this chapter number 6 is very familiar to you because all of you see here the heading you see lines and angles so in class 7 in class 8 you get lines and angles so i think you feel more comfortable to learn this chapter in online so now first of all we just revise the terms and definitions whatever you get in class 8 or 7 so first of all the first one is line segment so line segment means what obviously line segment means we have to consider a line but there the most important part is what two end points are required if two end points are there and we consider a portion in between two end points this line is this portion is known as line segment is it clear so this a and b are known as end points if two end points are given in a portion or in a line then it is known as line segment is it clear okay next one is come here ray in ray what happened in this case also we consider a line but here only one end points from a point we direct a line but there is no end point in the other side so if only one side a end point is there then it is known as ray i think you get this too in class 8 so next one is collinear so in this diagram you see a straight line we consider and this straight line three points are there a b and c all these three points are lie on this line is it clear if three or more points lie on a line then the points are known as collinear points is it clear okay next we move to number four non-collinear points non-collinear point means what the opposite of collinear point just so that means what if the points are not lying on a line you see here a is on the line but b and c are not on the line so that means this a b c are not non-collinear is it clear next one is come the fifth one arms and angles i think you get this from a fixed point or from one end if two rays are from an angle this one in between two arms these two are known as arms and this one is what angles already in diagram in this diagram it is mentioned from a fixed point two rays are moved and in between two rays one angle is formed this one is known it is known as angle and other two are arms you know all of you know this so here mainly you see line segment ray collinear points non-collinear points and arms and angles so here only the term and the diagram mentioned to you so your task is what in your classwork copy remember in your classwork copy what you have to do you have to write down the term here with definition with diagram diagram you have to draw and definition also you have to write and the line segment here like in this way here only the diagram and the topic given the definition not written in your class or copy you have to write down the definition also is it clear okay okay next one is come here types of angles so first one acute angle all of you know this one less than 90 degree right angle all of you know which one is 90 degree obtuse angle more than 90 but less than 180 isn't it so now here these three all of you get now next one is come straight angle that means the angle which one is 
180 degree is it clear in a straight line we get an angle and which angle is 180 degree so that's why it is known as straight angle is it clear next one is come reflex angle reflex angle is what the angle which are more than 180 but less than 360 I repeat this more than 180 but less than 360 here already written more than 180 and less than 360 are known as reflex angle is it clear the angle which are exactly 180 it is known as straight angle and the other three are you know so these are the types of angles then next one is come number six complementary angles so complementary angles means if you add two angles and their sum is exactly 90 remember exactly 90 if you add two angles and the sum is exactly 90 then it is known as complementary angles is it clear next one is come number seven supplementary angles supplementary angles means what if you add two angles and their sum is exactly 180 degree then the two angles are known as supplementary angles is it clear okay after that next one is come adjacent angles so here in adjacent angles what happen you see here this b is the fixed point and this from this fixed point here b a ray or what this one is ray here b c ray b d ray so in between this b a and b c this b d is common so with respect to this b d you see here two angles are wicked and these two angles are as a adjacent to each other or not so from adjacent angles how can we say these two angles are adjacent or not in case of adjacent angles we need a common arm this three are arm here angle form so that means you can say ray or you can say arm also here in case of angle we can say arm or individually one one line if you draw then it is known as ray so here arm bc arm ba arm bd so in case of this one for these two angles the common arm is bd so with respect to this common arm two adjacent angles are there these two so the same thing in this diagram you see here so that's why here drawn here tick mark right so in this diagram you see again ba arm be arm bd arm bc arm so in this case here also two angles are we form these two angles but these two angles are not adjacent angles why in between these two adjacent angles the arms are not common here for this angle b is the arm and for this angle bd is the arm so bd and be are not same not common but in this case you see bd is common here so that's why these two angles are known as adjacent angles and these two are not adjacent angles is it clear okay okay next one is come here linear pair of angles linear pair of angle means what first of all we have to consider a straight line remember straight line that means this whole angle is what 180 degree all of you know straight line straight angle straight angle is what 180 degree so in this case in this straight angle one arm is there if arm is this one so with respect to this arm these two angles are what adjacent angles so if anyone asks you what is the sum of these two adjacent angles what you have to say your answer is 180 degree because the whole angle is what straight angle so the sum is what 180 degree so that means in case of linear when we can say linear pair angles so when the angle is when the line is straight line when the angle is straight angle there one common arm is there these two adjacent angles are known as linear pair of angles is it clear later on we have to discuss this one more elaborately here so next one is come number 
टेन भार्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स सो भार्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल मीन्स हियर उव टू कन्सिडार टू लाइन्स एंड टू लाइन्स आर इंटरसेक इच आर लैंड तो भार्टिकली अपोजिट फोर वन सो हियर उ कन्सिडार जस्ट साम नेम्स हियर अफ एंगल्स हियर वन टू थ्री फोर नाउ हियर फर दिस वन द अपोजिट इज वाट थ्री ना फोर टू द अपोजिट इज वाट फोर सो इन केस अफ भार्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स टू इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन्स आर रिकॉर्ड and the opposite angles are known as vertically opposite angles so that means angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4 so this one is known as vertically opposite angles so now up to this number 10 we have done so your task is what what you have to do each and every topic you have to write with definition and diagram in your class work paper is it clear up to 10 you have to complete it and in the next video we have to continue this and we have to solve the exercise question example questions and later on going on and in this way you have to complete chapter number 6 and chapter number 7 first and then we move to 3 4 5 is it clear okay thank you